What's up, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Project Ozone 2 Kappa Mode. Oh, yeah, guys. So, last episode, we were working on trying to get towards the creative energy cell. And we ran into some roadblocks. We got a lot of this stuff ready to go. Uh, we were working on trying to make these 16 chaos ingots. We got stuck trying to make those because they require a whole lot of the glowing mangoi. Well, since then, we should have enough in the system. Let's check it out now. So, if we go in here and we do chaos ingot... And I want to make 16 of these. It still says we need 50 of these chaos shards. We do have enough of the glowing mangaloid. It says we need 58,000 of those. That's quite a lot of those. 58,000. And then we also need these blue gems. Okay. Blue gems are something we can work on really easy. I'm glad we have the glowing mangaloid. In fact, glowing mangaloid, we have 66,000 of those. So that means we're going to end up with about 8,000 once we're done with this craft. There's not that many left over, and hopefully we're not going to need a ridiculous amount for the Chaos Ingots that we're going to be making. Otherwise, we're going to have to set up more of those cows in the last millennium to make more of the... What is it? The This stuff over here, I get the of it. Zephyrian Arothium. Yes, we're going to need more of this stuff coming in. Already, we have 27 cows in the last millennium producing this stuff. We might need more. We might need more. Okay, so we want to make blue gems. Let's grab ourselves a drawer. I think one of these jungle ones should be just fine. Uh, we're going to get ourselves an MK2 chest. Mm hmm And then, what else do we need? I guess we're going to want a blue gem for a pattern. That's a blue diamond. We want blue gems, right? Finally, we're going to want some demon steel. I don't know how much of this stuff we need. I'm going to take a few stacks. It's going to be way overkill, but... We want to set this up and not worry about it again. So down here, we had a lot of our stuff from our sifting operations from forever ago. I think we're going to go ahead and just reuse some of this stuff. Since we already have a drawer controller here, and these guys are just kind of sitting here and not really doing much. We'll just put this right here. These are spruce drawers. These are jungle. Do we have any more spruce? Doesn't matter. Spruce drawer. Uh, we do. Okay, let's use a spruce drawer instead. We'll keep it all the same. There we go. All right, let's put away the jungle one. Cool. So we can put our thingy right here, right? We will put a pattern here for the blue gem, and then we'll just put in a whole bunch of these. We're not going to need this many, but I don't ever want to come back here and look at this again. So that should keep us pretty well stocked, I would imagine. So translocators, we'll grab two of those and a glowstone. Yes, a piece of glowstone dust is all we need. One of those, one of those, and one of these right here. Boop. So now we'll have all of the blue gems in the system after I add in a few more upgrades. <laughs> so we need to get ourselves some upgrade. Uh, these right here. One, two, three, five. Yes. Normally I put in four plus a void, but we don't want to void it. So we will just go ahead and do one of those numbers and that'll stock up to over a hundred thousand of them, which is more than what we need. How are we doing here on the demon steel of the seventh magnitude? Looks like we haven't even gone through one full stack yet. These have 8,000 EMC. I'm sure we'll go through a couple of stacks before this thing's full. Maybe, maybe not. I'm not sure. Anyway, we have over 35,000 of those available to us in our system now. So let's look at blue gem yeah look at that so now we have plenty of these things we're ready to go i'll just stick one more in the system you know we had like two thousand of those on our digital storage and now we have all of these on the external storage bus storage i probably could have taken all the ones on the discs and moved them over here but i guess it doesn't really matter okay so now we got that taken care of let's go back and try and make the chaos ingot we'll do 16 once again and yeah, the only thing we're missing at this point in time is these chaos shards. So I need to go to the end. I need to go find some more chaos islands, use our infinity, or I guess our world breaker. I was going to say infinity hammer. Use our world breaker in hammer mode. Mm -hmm. All right. So let me go ahead and get to that and we'll be right back. All right, guys. So I just got back from the end and I got a whole lot of stuff here gonna have plenty of these chaos shards i think i went to 10 of those islands so we should end up with something like what uh 200 of them i think says we're getting 20 per island 
I think it's gonna be something like that. Unfortunately, I ended up getting a whole lot. Whoop! I ended up getting a whole lot of junk uh, with that as well. How do you spell that? A V A R E V A R. Yeah, I accidentally clicked one of those in there just now. Okay. Uh, but anyway, we are gonna have the fifty. Was it fifty or was it sixty? These things that we needed in order to craft those kiosk ingots. Let me go and pop another one of these real quick just to be double sure because I'm not 100% how many of those we needed that might be what we needed so chaos and get so we can tell the system to make 16 of these looks like we have everything ready so this is probably going to take a minute before this is done what is it doing with the palladium or oh that's right it has to make the palladium crystals forgot about that um all right I think we're good let's start it up so yeah, this crafting is probably gonna take a minute. It has to make 14,000 of these draconic cores and all of these palladium crystals and stuff like that. So anyway, let's wait for this craft to finish up and then we'll be right back guys. All right guys, well not only is crafting those chaos ingots like a crazy thing to do, it is kicking off all sorts of other auto crafting, right? So it's we're doing diamond chip sets, we're doing these things over here. We're making awakened cores. We're making these advanced circuits. Like every single one of our CPUs, we have 16 of them. They're all being used for different crafting right now. It is so crazy the amount of stuff that happens when we tell it, hey, make some chaos ingots. So I can imagine over here in the last millennium, like everything is going right now. Our lasers are going. I can imagine. Uh, we're probably making some of this ultimates too because it has to make all of the other things, right? Uh, we're missing an ingredient here for some reason. I, I don't know. Is that a glitch? Was there supposed to be an item here? I don't know. Anyway, it shows there's ultimate stew. Not sure what's going on with that. <laughs> uh, let's check the system actually. Maybe there is something messed up. Ultimate stew? It says we have 512. I'm just going to assume everything's still working correctly. Uh, we got, I would have expected cows to be going over here. Yeah, we don't have any meat ingots in here. Hmm, I wonder why. Oh, you know what? Yeah, it's still making the stuff to restock. And then when that drops down, yeah, then we'll get cows up here. Okay, so those are going, yeah, kind of as I expected. Uh, we're making, I'm sure, infinity catalysts over here for all the other things that we're trying to do. I see there's another spot here that's empty. Hmm. 207 you know what I think that's the elven quartz and I think this is one of those manual things that I kind of have to do Yeah block of elven quartz We never set up an automation for this because we had to put quartz through the portal in order to make this stuff I wonder I bet we could probably animate that and spawn that in and automate it that way I don't know if it's worth doing that or not or just putting a whole bunch of stuff through <laughs> Putting a whole bunch of stuff through the portal and just calling that good. My goodness, yeah, all of these singularities are going off right now. How are we doing on the demon steel? All right, yeah, we're probably using this stuff way faster than what we're making it at this point in time. I think we had 300,000 of this stuff earlier. Now we're down to 280,000. Yeah, every single one of these things are kicking off. And then, yeah, our chaos stuff over here. I don't think there's too much interesting things to look at in this one. We're out of wireless connectors. Okay, so that is kind of interesting. Uh, yeah, we can hear the circus being made down here. I'm sure all of these things are being made. Oh my goodness. Okay, so we are out of wireless connectors. That's the thing I'm going to have to look at making. Uh, so these are making our kiosk catalysts. Yeah, we have none in the system. We have seven of our kiosk ingots made. So we're about halfway done with the, the crafting there. And this over here. Yeah, that's... There's nothing I'm sure interesting happening. All of the palladium crystals have been made, I'm sure. All right, well, it's going to be a little bit of time before this thing finishes up. I got to wait for all those crafts to finish up. You can kind of see the sky right now is a little jerky. There's just so many different automations and stuff happening right now. We're experiencing just the slightest bit of tick lag. So it's making everything take a little bit longer. But what do you expect with such a crazy chain of automations going on? Anyway, let me wait for this stuff to finish up and then we'll be back, guys. All right, guys, so most of that crafting has completed now. And if we look in here, yeah, we have our 16 chaos ingots. We have our four creative energy cells, and we have this phoenix down. Apparently, this thing 
is another way to give yourself extra lives in this mod pack. I've never used one of these things before, but it says that it will re resurrect you once with full health and revert into an angel angelic feather. Um, yeah, I don't know. We haven't really died too many times in this mod pack, so it's not that big of a deal, but that's just another option. So we need to get the four items that go here in the center. I just got done making a whole bunch of these wireless chargers. Uh, and then I had to make patterns for these nether star generators, which are going to be going in the center here. Let me clear out our NEI list here. Okay, so we wanted to make four of these nether star generators. Now, I made all the patterns while I was just sitting here waiting for things to craft up. So nether star generator. Uh, these are the two I guess we made a long time ago, and we we're running off of those for a while. But yeah, we need to make four of the 64 times version. I haven't even looked to see if we can do this. I know we're going to be out of the energy things. Uh, yeah, these things. The transfer node energy, transfer node hyper energy. Both of those we can get from EMC. Transfer node. I'll just grab a few stacks of these while I'm in there. All right. Put all those back in the system here. Made a pattern for these wireless boosters too. That's like one of the few things that you can't EMC for making the wireless charger. Anyway, uh, so we were trying to make the nether star generator times 64 for those. And again, we'll craft that up or at least tell the system to do that. Make sure we have everything available. So 240 nether stars, some of these transfer node things. Uh, yeah, it has to make these unstable ingot block. Right, so if we go back in here, those look pretty easy. This looks pretty easy. But yeah, the nether star generator does require unstable ingot block. That's going to slow down this whole process. We do have to make these furnaces, which is fine. Uh, we have the wither skeleton essence and then everything else. I mean, that's not that big of a deal. It is just a lot of crafting that goes into this. So, and especially these unstable ingot block, I guess we probably could animate those and spawn those in, but we can craft these and we can craft those with an unlimited, uh, the unlimited pseudo inversion sigil thing. So I don't know, I guess it won't be that bad. Anyway, this is just going to be another thing that's going to take a few minutes for it to finish up. So let's go ahead and take another break here. Wait for this crafting to be done. And then hopefully we'll be able to come back and make our creative energy cell. Be right back, guys. All right, guys. So I was taking a look at everything. And in the last millennium, we were having problems with missing one item from our ultimate stew, right? So I was looking. And I had to go through like pretty much every single item and figure out what it was. Yeah, our wheat. We ran out of wheat. So I replanted some more wheat in the last millennium. I'm not sure why we never had that planted before. I guess we had a storage, um, a compacting drawer full of the stuff and we never really, or at least I, I never really thought that we were going to be running out. Apparently we did. I'm not really sure how we ran out and why we did. Cause I'm sure we had, you know, thousands of stacks, but yeah, apparently something is using wheat in the system. Maybe bio, Maybe it's our biofuel stuff. I think that actually uses wheat, doesn't it? To make some of this, and we're using this to make ethylene, I guess, for some craft. I don't know. Anyway, so we got wheat planted again, and then I made a whole lot of elven quartz, two of these chests full of stuff, turned into blocks, put it back in the system, and that kicked down a whole bunch of other auto crafting. So now we're making a whole bunch of runes of rats. We're making a bunch of these crystallized redstones. Uh, gluttony needs to be made again. Uh, it's making a lot of the <laughs> HOP graphite stuff. Yeah, just having all of these cascading auto crafting things going is awesome. But I wish there was some way that I knew, hey, we're out of, you know, L1 quartz. We need to make more. Or, I mean, I guess a, a better thing would be to have some kind of way to automatically create that nether quartz. I guess we could have like a dispenser set up here that's automatically like clicking the items through the portal and we could collect it with the advanced item collector and have that on an interface or something. I don't know. I've never really set up an auto craft for this particular thing, but what I did do is I made, you know, like 500 blocks of the stuff, like I said, or I guess two of the uh, single chests worth of the elven quartz. So we got plenty of this stuff in stock. I don't know if we're ever going to be running out of it, but yeah, it is kind of going through it now as it's refilling things at this point in time. Uh, so anyway, we got our four 64 X nether star generators made now. So we are all set on that. We can make our creative energy cell. Let's do it. That's awesome. Creative energy cell get. All right. What did I do with our quest book? Did I put it in here? Yes, I did. 
All right, so let's take a look at this real. That's not the book. <laughs> let's take a look at this real quick. And yes, craft the creative energy cell done. So next quest is a creative portable tank. And then we have a few other things here. Let's look at the creative portable tank. Creative portable tank. It better not use these <laughs> energies in there. Okay. I think we're fine, but yes, it is going to use four more chaos ingots, which is going to kick on a whole lot more auto crafting. Uh, Infinity is easy. looks like we're using six chaos ingots. We got some neutronium ingots in here. Uh, super Lamar fluid ducts or laminar. How do you pronounce that? I don't know. Uh, looks like these are not EMC able, but we have like all of this stuff. Uh, I don't know if I have auto craft set up for all of these, but we can easily set those up. Anyway, the creative energy. cell. let's take a look at this real quick. We could put those on our energy ball here, but your yeah, energy ball. If you look there on the tool tip, I guess if you look there in the bottom left, it says it's full. <laughs> we are 100% full on this one and this one over here, 100% full as well. So do we really need the energy that comes from this? Not really. Uh, so this looks like send receive is doing a hundred million RF per tick. Is that what it is? That's probably per site. Actually, let me set this down. I assume we can pick this thing back up using a wrench. Cause the last time I sat one of these things down, we were able to do that. If not, it's going to be there forever. Can I open this chest? Okay. <laughs> so yes, we can send a hundred million RF per tick through this creative energy cell. That's obviously the configurations have been changed. Um, and as far as I remember, that is per side. So we can do 600 million RF per tick out of this guy. That's pretty awesome. Uh, hopefully we can pick it up with a wrench. <laughs> Let me see if we can do that. Yes. If not, I'm sure the world breaker would have been able to pick it up or some other means, but yes, we can in fact do that. Is there really a reason to use this thing? Not really, not at this point in time. Uh, because you know, our two dragon balls, the, uh, energy cores are completely full. We have like over 4 trillion RF stored. So there's not a lot of reason to do that at this point. But anyway, it's kind of cool being able to craft one of those things, right? Uh, so create a portable tank. Yes. So we need six more chaos ingots. Can I make six more chaos ingots? Let's find out. We are missing stuff. Nether stars are fine. We can fix that. Draconium ingots. We're missing 10. Really? <laughs> All right. Uh, we have those being grown in the last millennium. That's really weird that we're missing 10, uh, glowing mangaloy. Yeah. That's going to be a problem. We need 19,000 more of those. We're getting to the point now where it's kind of like a waiting game on this stuff. I thought our glowing mangaloy, how we set that up a long time ago was going to be more than efficient, more than enough, but apparently not. Let's take a look at this. So, the erothium stuff. Can we craft this? Okay. So it looks like we can EMC this. It might be faster. It might be faster for us to, to EMC this stuff, put into a magma crucible and just start making this fluid. I think we might have to do that instead of using the move fluid cows. We might have to do that. Uh, also we're using a lot of our demon steel our EMC stuff. We're using a lot of this stuff right now, refilling all of our singularities. Um, so these are all full here, but the other guy, I guess there is not one in the system anymore. The eternal singularity. Yeah, that singularity is not here anymore. So that's being used somewhere, which is using all of these things, which is <laughs> making the system use more EMC to restock everything. Yeah, uh, we're constantly making more of the Emerald Singularities. And I guess every time we make one of those, it makes a new Eternal Singularity. Hmm. Okay. Uh, so a thing that we need to do, first of all, let's turn this off. We'll turn this off. Our quarries are still going, so we're making EMC just fine. Or I guess our Demon Steel is seventh here. That's fine. Um... Let's take a look at that recipe one more time. We want to make six more of these, not those, <laughs> of the uh, chaos ingots. 
All right, Nether Stars will be filling up. We're missing 200 of those. That's fine. Okay, our Draconium is now available, which is fine. So, yeah, Glowing Mangoy. We need to get this stuff going a lot faster. Let's set up some kind of an automation to make that Aruthium stuff a little bit faster than what the cows are doing. All right, guys. So here we are once again in the last millennium. Mm -hmm. So we are setting up a whole lot of these magma crucibles. Now, here's the thing. Uh, one of these Aruthium dust turns into a quarter of a bucket, right? Uh, uses and then this. Yeah. So it turns into uh, 250 millibuckets. So I'm trying to keep these in fours, right? <laughs> so there's 11 on the bottom, five on top. So we got 16 of them in total. I might add in a few more, but I was just kind of like thinking about how many of these we need and how fast this is going to go. Anyway, so yeah, we have a bunch of these Magma Crucible Resonance. I have not added any augments in there and I have not set the configurations for these. So on the bottom here, we will do want these things to accept items from the top and export to the back. That's what we want then. Uh, so we're gonna wanna grab ourselves some red print. Do we not have a red print? I thought we did. Let me look at this red print. Is it just one word? One of these, I thought we had one of those. Maybe it's in my pouch, I don't know. But anyway, uh, with red print, you can copy the settings of a thermal expansion machine. So if you wanna have like redstone and everything, or whatever. In our case, we're just copying the side. So we want the top to insert items. We want the back to export the fluid. So shift right click and then just right click on each one of these machines should copy all of the settings over. I do believe, yeah, that looks all correct. So over here, we gotta do the same thing, except we're going to accept from the bottom and then export to the back as well. So we need to copy this one and then, oh, hold on a second. What did I just do here? Bottom there, is that copying? Oh yeah, yeah, that looks like it's copying correctly. Uh, so paste, paste, paste. Yeah, that looks right. Okay, so on the back here, uh, oh, you know what, I think I did that incorrect. Hmm. So we're gonna do the fluid to the top and items from the back. Whoops, I gotta redo that. Hmm. Not a big deal with the red print, it's an easy thing to fix. I'll just go and spam click and make sure we hit them all again. All right, so that looks better. So fluid to the top, items from the back. All right, and then we gotta redo this one. So we want items from the back here, then we want fluid to the bottom. All right, this, this, this. All right, so yeah, pretty easy to configure all those things and get that all set up. So yes, our item conduit will be on the back here and we're gonna be pushing in the Aruthium dust. I do need to add in a few more of that item conduit. Let me go ahead and get those added in over here. All right, so yeah, in the center here, we do have the ender fluid conduit, which is going to be extracting the fluid. And then we have ender energy conduit, which is gonna provide these things power, since this is gonna take a whole lot of power, but we have a whole lot of power available, right? <laughs> Let's grab ourselves a tesseract. One of those should be just fine. I'll just stick it right here in the floor. That should be good enough. So we want the Tesseract to be set to main base power. Turn that on. We want energy mode, receive only. All these guys should be filling up with power uh, as soon as I hook up an energy conduit here and here. All right, so now we should all be filling up with power. I don't know if the Ender Energy Conduit is gonna be enough to keep all of these things powered, cause that is gonna be a lot of power once these things are working. We might have to add in more conduit connections to different sides of this Tesseract, or I don't know, something along those lines. But yes, uh, we should be good here. Now we have a Ender, I'm sorry, Energy Condenser MK2 right here. We need to set that to make the Aruthium. We'll put in a stack of this. In fact, I'm just gonna pre-fill this up with a whole bunch of stacks of these things. So we're always generating this stuff. Now, a uh, pretty simple thing. We just need to connect to the bottom of that and run that over. Uh, I should grab item conduit stack upgrade. I guess speed upgrade, 15 of those, what we want. All right, so we'll do this. We'll do extract, always active, and put these guys in there. Cool. All right, so now we gotta figure out where this connection needs to go. Right there seems about right. And yeah, that is right in line. Perfect. All right, so just run this over like so. And all these guys should, but well, I, I no, they won't now. <laughs> I was gonna say all of them should start kicking on, but we do need our conduit probe here 
and we need to set these to be inserted on the back. I guess we don't really need a conduit probe, but this is the way I'm going to do this. So this can be insert. So we need to put this on copy mode. Copy. I can just go ahead and pasta on all of these. Like so, the, all of their internal inventories will fill up. They can hold 80 buckets inside each, which is a decent amount of this Zephyrian Aruthium stuff. All right. So another thing we need to do is take all the fluid out of these things and put it somewhere. And I haven't decided where we're going to do that. We might just put it underneath, like over here or something, into a drum, which will be on a storage bus for the system. That might be what we want. How are we doing on power? Are we keeping up? Oh, we are keeping up. Also, we can put the augments in here, which I haven't done yet. Okay, well, let me get a few more things hooked up here. I'll button everything up, and then we'll be right back. All right, guys, so one final step that we need to do here is to hook up the P2P channels for them. Looking here, it looks like we have two of these that are in the last millennium. They're mostly full, so I'll just grab a brand new one. So let's head back there real quick and take a look at what we got going on here. So, yes, it is all pretty much the same uh, we have all of these guys here. Oh, I guess we aren't keeping up. I thought we were. It might have been because this was not chunk looted. I do need to put chunk looters here. Uh, so we do have our Aruthium dust here. Yeah, all that stuff is being pulled out as fast as it can be pushed into all of these things. But apparently, uh, we need to push this out faster. It does not look like this can keep up. I might have to swap that out from the conduit to well, maybe something else i'm not entirely sure what we're gonna do here at the moment but uh, i did put the speed upgrades in all of these things so these are going as fast as they can go we're going as fast as that conduit will allow us to extract out of this chest it might even be a thing where i just add another conduit here item conduit we could do another item conduit here, and that should double our potential, but it'll look a little bit worse than what it does right now. I think it'll be okay, though, if we do this. If we do extract, always active, put that in there. That should keep all of these things full now, I would imagine. Yeah, it looks like we're stocked up on all of them now. Okay, that, that'll work. That'll be our fix for now. Let's grab another facade. There we go. Okay. So now we are extracting out of two sides of this thing, the Aruthium dust into these guys. Uh, we are pumping it all into this Bedrockium drum. And so far we have 10,000 buckets. So this drum is about one sixth of the way full, but we need to add that to our network here. So let me go ahead and right click on this thing. Uh, no, not that thing, this thing. Right click on here. They look very similar, don't they? The uh, fluid storage bus and the P2P tunnel, kind of. Anyway, uh, so this will get its channel. Yep, this will be on the network. We should start using this stuff quite quickly. Uh, I don't think we're going to use it faster than what we're making it now, but that should now be available on the network, which should allow this thing to be completely full of the Aruthium as soon as it starts extracting it completely. Yeah, that is now filling up. We've been kind of waiting on that stuff a little bit, but now, yeah, this should always be full. If only we could get the fluid transposer to go faster. I don't know if there's a way to do that. Uh, I guess we could add in more fluid transposers and have more of these things going. Not really sure if that's necessary or not. But yes, it looks like our Ruthium supply is going to keep up. The final thing we could do is to export the Demon Steel of the 7th Magnitude into that chest automatically. But, you know, I think having what we have set up right now set up, I think that's gonna do it for us. I think we should be okay. So once again, let's go back. We want to make six of the uh, chaos ingots. How much more of that stuff are we gonna have to wait on? Uh, 22,000 of them. We are missing some draconium ingots. I'm not sure why we keep missing those. Um, yeah, I'm not sure why we're missing those. Those should be uh, those should be grown automatically in the last millennium. I might have to set up an imaginary time block on that. We could do that and get these things going super speed. Let's go visit our last millennium nether star area here. Uh, so the draconium, I'm not actually sure where that stuff is. Is this one? That's manulin looking for purple. It might be that all of these are harvested by the time I get by it and I won't know which one it is. Oh no. 
Yeah, that's kind of the problem with all this. I don't have any of these things labeled. I'll have to like run through and look at each specific plant. That's Ender stuff. Um, one of these is gonna be Draconium, and I don't know which one. Yeah, like I said, we'll probably have to go through and look at the plant. Or I'm sorry, yeah, just look at the tooltip. Look at the plant. So you can see the tooltip. We'll find the Draconium eventually, and then I'll probably just go ahead and throw an imaginary time block nearby that. So it goes a little bit faster by a little bit. It should be going a lot. And right here is where I planted our wheat. This was an empty spot. I think this is where we originally had our nether stars experience seeds. It's got to be on this side, unfortunately. <laughs> uh, rubber, sulfur, obsidian, manulin, alumite, diamond, copper, silver, nickel, tin, bronze, iron, lead, osmium, invar, electrum. There it is. Draconium. Okay. So we found this. So imaginary time block. We do have one of those in the system and a Tesseract. Cool. This is all we need to do. So I'll go ahead and pop a hole right here. We'll place Tesseract here. Main base power. Let's turn this thing on. Receive only and through this guy right here. Okay. So that'll get three of those plants going super speed. I don't think we really need Electrum or Enderium that quickly, but we definitely need Draconium faster. So are we getting this stuff at a decent rate now? Oh yeah, that's coming in a lot faster. That's about four every second or so. I like it. Okay, yeah, that's definitely gonna do what we need it to do a little bit better. Oh, you know what? That's going faster than these things can work. Hmm, I might have to put speed upgrades. Huh, did I never put speed upgrades on these? I guess I didn't because we, they were never going that fast. But yeah, we could definitely extract out of this a little bit faster. Let me grab some item conduit speed upgrade here for, I guess, we're going to need it for all four of these, or all three of these plants that we're growing here faster. So we'll do that. One here. Those are EMC, right? Yeah, okay. Let me grab the transmutation tablet. And we'll grab some more of these speed upgrades here. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Those do, take up like a partial block. These guys, and if you walk into them, uh, they get all up in your face. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. All right, so now we should be uh, extracting all these as fast as we sh as fast as we need to. That yeah, looks like nothing is being overstocked here. Okay, so back to draconium. Are we getting those faster now? Yeah, we're getting those at a decent speed. It's now showing like eight at a time or something every time it pulls them in, which is fine. All right, so we'll just have to let this go. We have to wait on the glowing mangaloid to be made. There's really not much else we can do for that. That's just one of those things that just happens over time. So we'll just have to let the server go even longer to make all this stuff. But yes, we are definitely keeping up with the Zephyr and Aruthium now. Like I said, I might even add in another fluid transposer, maybe for temporary that's continuing to do the same thing as this one so we can make it twice as fast. I don't know how necessary that is, but I do know it's necessary to have a lot more of this stuff. So that'll definitely be something we look at here in the future. But guys, we're going to go and wrap this up for today. We got a lot of stuff done. We made our creative energy cell, which is fantastic. I'm very much happy that we were able to do that. This is a great item. Unfortunately, <laughs> we don't really need it because we have all those solar panel 12s, right? Yeah, there's not a lot of use for it, but it is cool that we we're able to make it. But anyway, guys, that's it for today. Thank you guys for watching. Remember to leave a like on the episode if you liked it, and we'll see you next time. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye-bye.